All right, so, so <laughs> the Nintendo shot, Direct yeah. Mini. <laughs> yeah. This was only 10 minutes, and yet there is so much to talk about just because of how the backlash. So first, let's get into the Direct itself. So um, they announced a new DLC for uh, the, the uh, Rhythm game. Yeah. yeah, Cadence of Hyrule. Uh, the new characters, new songs, things like that. A physical edition of the game mm-hmm. as well, which includes all of the DLC. Uh, so I'm glad that this game is, you know, getting more content because I know that just from like watching it, like I could tell that this game was made with like love and care. And the fact that they were able to create a sort of like Zelda expansion with it, it was probably an honor for the devs and really, really cool for them as well. Um, so there was that. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Or? Yeah, I, I think it looks really neat. Like I want to get this game for a while, but I guess I'll just wait uh, for that physical edition and get like all the DLC with it. Because um, mm-hmm. I think, like, the Skull Kid, like, sort of expansion, like, that last bit of DLC looks really neat. Um, you know, I love Majora's Mask, so for them to do, like, you know, you could, like, change, like, you know, your mask and do different things. That that just looks cool to me. Um, so, yeah, that, I mean, I'm, I'm horrible at Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which is what this was based <laughs> off on. But I heard this game is a lot less punishing with its, like, beats and stuff like that. So, you know, just to get fans into it, like, Zelda fans into it, so... um. Yeah, no, but yeah, it, look, it looks really neat. I, I'm probably going to pick it up, honestly, because I wanted to get it for a bit. So, yeah, that, um, mm-hmm. for, for me, that was pretty exciting. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, The next game that they showed was a high-res game. It's yeah. a rogue company. It's like a third-person sort of shooter. And, you know, didn't do much for me. Same thing for the WWE game. Didn't yeah. do much for me. <laughs> Um, Any other thoughts on that? Or? <laughs> uh, basically, yeah, I, I don't really like high-res that much because usually it feels like they're really, like, trend set it like they just go for wherever the new trend is and like just do a game on it and then like abandon it like mm-hmm. uh, i think the only really long lasting game at this point is smite and that's about it like realm what was their battle i don't know the br game they made yeah like, i think uh, that realm got, royale yeah that, that <laughs> felt like it was made in like two months just to, like oh uh fortnite's big let's do that or paladins yeah. too it's just like oh overwatch is big let's do that like i, I don't know they haven't really have a good reputation honestly I don't, I don't really like them as developers and the you know wwe games like who cares <laughs> <laughs> uh then the last bit of news which is probably the most exciting yeah, the out of yeah. out of everything uh Shin Megami Tensei 3 is getting a remake and then they announced Shin Megami Tensei 5 uh, my only experience with the series is playing Shin Megami Tensei 4 and I wasn't really that into it I kind of kind of traded that game off uh, out of my collection because I was just like I might as well you know get some value out of this um but yeah you know I am I'm very happy that like people that love this franchise and are very very excited for a three remake on top of a new one with Shin Megami Tensei 5 so uh yeah I say so I, I'm excited for this because you know I'm more of a Persona fan because I never got a chance to play Shin Megami Tensei uh I always wanted to though since you know it's basically mm-hmm. the parent series of Persona and I love Persona I play three four and five love them all uh Shin Megami Tensei is always one I want to play and Nocturne or you know three is very very popular but there was no real good way to play it while emulating it or getting like a ps2 disc which is you know dumb uh but mm-hmm. it seems like atlas is really getting better at porting things you know with persona 4 golden to put on steam and now with this uh sort of like remaster of uh same guy intense 3 it just seems like they want people to like play the older games again and you know it's just easy money for them so yeah i'm really happy you know and it's really weird to see perfo- uh, bleh, persona fans get mad over this because i'm like why <laughs> like it's like the gameplay is basically the same like you don't have the social sh- uh, sim stuff which is you know but, you know, that's what makes Persona Persona. Like, Shin Guy Tensei is supposed to be more of a dungeon crawler anyway and, like, you know, more serious and things like that. So, like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get why fans have to, like, fight each other. Like, it's, like, the same yeah. battle system. Like, <laughs> and why are you getting upset? Like, I'm excited to play this because I, I want to play, you know, the series that made Persona. So, yeah, I'm excited to play uh, SMT3. And, you know, of course, they revealed SMT5 as well, both coming out 2021. So, yeah, I, I'm excited for it. So, <laughs> All right, so yeah, like overall, the uh, direct mini I thought it was fine. Like, I thought it was good for day. ten minutes. Like I don't know what people yeah. were expecting. <laughs> I, I, we're gonna get into this, but yeah, I really yeah, yeah. don't understand like why people were mad. Yeah, it, it they literally all right. So I, you know, me n- night owl. I was like, fuck, it's like midnight, and like Nintendo tweets or like I see a nintendo tweet where it was like nintendo direct mini i was like i gotta verify this shit is this the actual nintendo twitter and it was and i was like oh okay it's fucking midnight guys what the hell (laughs) and it was gonna happen literally the next morning and i was like okay i guess i I, I guess we're doing this um and you know if you read it it says uh, a series focused on titles from our development and publishing partners so that should tell you 
it's probably going to be like second to third party yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Publishing partners, guys. And it's a direct mini. Like they wouldn't just drop, you know, Mario 35th anniversary remake collection in this direct mini. Like that just, it just wouldn't make sense. And like, I think them doing a direct mini for these smaller people and like having it like focused on this one thing instead of like mixed in with like, all right, guys, here's Breath of the Wild 2 and then like this smaller game and then Mario 35th anniversary collection and then this smaller thing. You know what I'm saying? So like having like this this sort of like spotlight for these smaller games, I think was a good idea. Um, and it was said that it was going to be 10 minutes uh, from like the Japan tweet. And I was like, oh, okay, 10 minutes. So like, it's not going to be that long. Shouldn't probably expect a lot of like big stuff. You know, some people were like, yo, Bayonetta 3, um, you know, no more heroes stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know if they would want to say all that in like a 10 minute thing, you know? Mm-hmm. So for what it, for what it was and for what like my ex, my personal expectations were, which was pretty much, oh, like they just like announced it the midnight and then it's going to happen when I wake up sort of thing it's probably not going to be like anything too amazing in my eyes like if i was a shimigami tensei fan i'd be hella excited but i'm not so at the end of the day i'm like ah you know it was a fine direct mini because it is a direct mini at the end of the day yeah like again i don't know what people were expecting like i just i just i get so (laughs) upset because it's like yeah they said it was gonna be for third party partners meaning yeah no first party stuff so people expecting like breath of the wild 2 or like the mario collection are just dumb i'm like why would you expect that and then second they said it was supposed to be 10 minutes long and i'm like okay so like don't get your hopes up for anything that big um you know i think people expecting like bayonetta 3 and normal heroes 3 like you know i I could get that because those aren't you know first party games like you know i'm like okay that that's fair to like expect that i guess but smt5 is also like a big thing too that was like announced when the switch was announced and we hadn't had any news about that since like since you know this direct so i think that's pretty big news in it of itself uh but you know i know it's a jrpg and not as popular and it's not persona so people are gonna Mm -hmm. get upset so but yeah i don't know i i think people were setting themselves up for disappointment anyway because they're dumb (laughs) like honestly yeah and we've been talking about this on the podcast for like Ever. maybe years at yeah. this point yeah <laughs> and like i went on twitter and i was like all right so like why are people disliking the uh goddamn direct because like they they literally in both directs that they did this year they're both direct minis they said like yo covid19 has affected a lot of the shit so like please like understand and like the fact that uh on the uh direct itself like right now at the time of we are recording this it has seventy five thousand dislikes that just means that there are seventy five thousand dumbasses that are just like not understanding like what the hell is going on in the world Mm -hmm. so like i asked and i was like all right like why are are you guys like so upset about this and someone had the nerve to reply this shit the concept that they should have waited for a full direct to announce this instead of telling us last minute that there's a third party direct with four games that aren't really that high profile and yes whatever the hell the last game is is low profile in my opinion all right uh so i'm i didn't reply to this to like give them like the satisfaction or whatever at but i'm gonna talk about it on this podcast because fuck it why not um low profile like are you serious bro like i know like shimigami tensei isn't the biggest game on the planet but like there's still like a small like pretty core dedicated fan base for these games And, like, saying that, like, they should have just waited for a full direct to announce this stuff is also kind of dumb because I think that people don't realize when the big directs happen and, like, you throw, like, other, like, small titles in there, those small titles will 100% get eaten up by, like, Breath of the Wild 2 or, like, Mario 35th anniversary thing or whatever, Mm -hmm. like I said earlier. So I think that them doing a smaller direct was definitely the right approach, especially for these, like, smaller developers you know like obviously you know wwe and shit like that like uh, yikes and i think (laughs) i think um uh what's it called the uh the abakugan announcement that happened uh earlier this week or whatever that definitely like tainted people's like uh sort of perception on like nintendo or or whatever and like it is just it is just crazy that like people are just like this like entitled to think that like oh, we should, like, get this because, like, we like your stuff. But it's, like, they'll show you what they want to show you. And when the time is right, you'll get what you probably want. Mm -hmm. And if not, like, then you have to, like, psych it up and just face the reality of the situation. So the fact that people are, like, so upset about, like, oh, my God, they showed Shimmy me and Gamma Tensei and, like, I don't know about this game that, like, I've never heard of, so, like, I don't like it. It's, like, so ignorant, in my opinion, where it's, like, 
just because you don't know about it or like you don't care about it doesn't mean other people don't like all right you you don't know what Shin Megami Tensei is I'm sorry that you've been living under a rock for like the past couple of years but Shin Megami Tensei is like not big but it's not small either so yeah I what mean, are your thoughts <laughs> like, if you heard about persona you probably would heard about smt at that point i you know, would hope so but it yeah. looks like a lot of these persona fans don't know about shin megami tensei either yeah that's really weird because i'm like I, that's pretty well known that's a spinoff that turned into its own thing um and i don't know it's just like yeah I, like yeah it's kind of niche like the series but it's still like a pretty big deal like it's still a big jrpg series um and it hasn't had like, a console release since like three so it's cool to see it on like the switch and things like that so I think mm-hmm. people saying, oh, this means nothing. It's kind of just dumb. Because I'm like, you know, like, just because it's niche doesn't mean, like, it's, it doesn't mean anything. Like, I, I know there's a ton of people that don't care about, like, Zelda or things like that, you know? Like, th- this is big mm-hmm. news. It's always going to be big news for someone. So, like, I don't know why you got to, like, shit on it. <laughs> like, I don't know. It makes no <laughs> sense to me. I'm like, why get mad just because it's not Zelda or Mario? Like, what were you expecting from this? Like, look, I'm, I'm upset. Like, I'm not upset, but, you know, it's kind of sad not to get, like, Breath of the Wild 2 or, like, the, that Mario, that supposed Mario, like, 3D collection. You know, because mm-hmm. I want it, too. I love Zelda and Mario, obviously. But, like, I'm not going to, like, throw a hissy fit every time they announce something else. And, like, maybe play other games. Like, you know, like, there's a bunch <laughs> of other games out there. Like, I- I'm fortunate enough to just, like, like most genres at this point. So I get excited for a lot mm-hmm. of announcements. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Just broaden your horizons a bit. Play an RPG or something, you know? Maybe you could get hyped for something like this, too, you know? <laughs> just don't, I don't know yeah. if I get so upset all the time. Yeah, and just, like, the entitlement is just, like, yeah, the that biggest too. thing. It's really annoying. I'm just, like, you guys feel like you're robbed because it's not, like, Persona or something like that. It's, like, all right, like, Atlas probably knows about the outcry where it's, like, people want Persona on the Switch. So we're probably probably have to get that on the Switch. And they're probably smart enough to get that on the Switch eventually. Maybe this just wasn't the right time. Because if they were to, like, announce it now, then the pressure is on them to make it. Because if they haven't even started, like, porting it over, like, people just think, oh, you know, you just just port it over. Like, there's obviously, like, technical shit that goes into it. So they probably don't want to put, like, the pressure on them. Like, with the uh, team behind Metroid Prime 4, like, they announced it because they know that, that like, people were would get really hyped and really excited for it. And guess what? We still don't know anything about the game other than the fact that they made the game and then they had to scrap the whole thing and start over. Mm -hmm. Like, that's as much as we know about the game right now and the fact that Retro Studios is now back on that project. Um, So, yeah, like, just, just wait, guys. Like, when this, like, big direct happens and, like, people are saying, like... Nintendo's being silent for too long and, like, they should be showing their new games because, like, Microsoft and PlayStation already have. It's, like... You guys know, like, Nintendo does their own thing, and, like, this is very common for them to just, like, not give a shit about the other two. And, like, them being, like, very straight up and being very forward, being like, yo, COVID-19 has, like, affected uh, affected games. Like, the gaming industry as a whole has been affected by COVID-19. And, like, them having to delay directs and things like that, like, we probably would have gotten, like, a full-length direct sometime earlier this year, but because of COVID, they have they had to do like these other these like mini directs and things like that so like when once we finally get this like big direct that's like dedicated towards like the holo- the these holiday games or whatever they have planned it's going to be like pretty exciting yeah i, I think so too it's just like you know like i don't know like do you just not see what's happening in the world right now like of course i'm not gonna be like full steam ahead on like developing all these games right now because they probably have to you know move people home like maybe get workstations in their own home and then now they can start working on stuff you know everything has been delayed like just just deal with it for a little bit longer i'm sure once 2020 is over things will be you know sort of okay again so you know just just give it some time you know like maybe play some backlog games i know i know everyone has like a bunch of games they gotta play anyway so you know, just 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 wait a little bit. <laughs> like, honestly, like it's just annoying how much like Nintendo fans feel like they're owed like a Zelda or Mario game. I'm like, like you're not owed anything. <laughs> like they're they're making the game. Like just wait. Yeah, it's definitely just like it's hit. It is literally hit a uh, a breaking point with Nintendo fans at this point. I think because. You know, we've been saying this for a long time where, like, fans just, you know, get excited every single time they direct announce and then, like, they get disappointed when it's like, there's no Pikmin 4, there's yeah, no, like, Mario like... thing. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? And that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, 
like people that want Pikmin 4, right? Like, I bet there's a ton of people that don't even care about Pikmin 4. Right? Same thing with like SMT, right? Like, some people are, like, like so excited for SMT 5 coming out, and then, you know, they're not excited. Like, there's only going to be something you're excited for or not. The only reason people are feeling it more this time is because this was really the only big announcement in this Direct. So you just feel a lot more disappointment, but and that's why the big directs always do like you know here's one big game or here's maybe a niche game and then here's another big game because it gets everyone excited. So, but I don't mm-hmm. know. I still I, th- I still think it's bad to like just like dunk on SMT for no reason. Like it's not its fault, <laughs> you know. It's no one's yeah. fault really besides yourself getting hyped for no reason. At like they Rami said it was a 10 minute direct. It was only supposed to be third party members. Like I don't understand what you were thinking. <laughs> so. Yeah, and like it's just. It's just whatever at the end of the day, because we've been we've been spewing the same message on this podcast for you probably years at this point where it's like Nintendo fans get excited and then they disappoint themselves. And I'm just like, I don't know what you guys expected. They said it was going to be 10 minutes. They said it was going to be on third party partners and things like that. And it's still just like, ah, I don't care about Shimigami Tensei Tensei or whatever. And I'm just like, that's your problem then, because like I might not care about Shimigami Tensei, Tensei, but I'm not going to like bash it at the end of the day because it's like people are excited about this and I can see why they're excited about it. It's been over like five years since Shin Megami Tensei 4 mm-hmm. and they're finally getting a sequel and a remake of 3 which is supposedly like pretty good yeah. so yeah like you know Atlas is doing the right moves for Shin Megami Tensei and I'm sure they're doing the right moves behind the scenes for Persona you just don't know it yet so just wait be patient and if something doesn't happen within like the next year then you can start asking questions because yeah like right now like COVID-19 is still very much you know affecting the gaming industry and like we should just take it for what it is and just move on with it so mm-hmm. all right but there's that yeah that, that, that's everything about that <laughs>